Hi everyone. So we are already thorough with the topic of fixed duration, fixed units, and fixed work kind of task type. Also, we studied about the effort driven type of task. Now it is the time to assign our resources to the respective task in Microsoft Project. So for this, we have taken one example. All the activities. These are the laborers. These are the staff. These are the equipments. These are the materials. We have already created our resources. Now it is the time to just assign those respective resources to the respective activities or the task so we will move to the microsoft project window here so very first thing is as per the last video that we discussed all the activities should be fixed duration because we do not want that because of the addition of resources in the planning stage itself our duration changes right now we have taken the site clearance as two days we do not want that i add two resources and it makes the site clearance activity as one day or uh, 0.5 day so for that all the activities that are displayed here should be fixed duration type because only in fixed duration type the duration will not change no matter how many resources you add this is just the planning stage no so in planning stage if you add more resources we have we have already planned the adequate number of resources only so during the execution stage we can change the type of uh, activity because then it might be possible that you are just dumping the resources for the activity to get completed faster. But at this particular point, we do not want that. So we will add one column as type. And you see that fixed duration, fixed units, everything is there, but we need to make everything as fixed duration. So either you can go one by one or the other method is fill down option. You just click one and press shift key and choose the last one. Then right click your mouse and choose the option of fill down. So this is how you can change the activity type as fixed duration. This will work in calendar also predecessor everywhere. You can use this fill down option wherever it suits you. Okay. So we have changed the type of activity as fixed duration. One more thing we should see is that no activity is effort driven. So we will open the detailed tab and we will see that no activity is effort driven or otherwise you can add the option of effort driven also and you will see that no activity displayed here is effort driven so now we are ready to assign our resources we will be understanding three different methods of assignment of the resources i think this is the maximum number of uh, ways through which we can assign the resources we'll be understanding all the three in detail okay Let's begin. So I just request you all to take a snapshot of this for the seamless session because it will be required every now and then throughout the video. Okay. So very first thing is you see in this particular PPT that your project manager and your construction manager, they are common in every activity. So instead of assigning them in each activity, which will just duplicate these things. So it is always better to assign the common resources to your main summary task, which is your IT building construction. So very first method that we are choosing is to add the resource name column here if the resource name column is not visible for example if i hit, if i try to hide this then what you can do is suppose if i hide this particular column so you will just have to click on this insert column and you'll have to choose resource okay so now you can add your resources here I'll just increase the width of this particular column so can so that it is visible. So very first resource is your project manager. So here is your project manager. You can choose your project manager here. You see the resource has been allotted as the project manager to this particular uh, summary task, which will be applicable to complete activities. He will be taking care of the complete IT building construction project. What will happen is if you will uh, add these resources individually, no, suppose you add, uh, suppose you take these two examples. Uh, earth filling and brickwork you assign project manager here also and you have assigned project manager here also then it will be a duplication of resources two times this project manager will be assigned so we do not want this we want the project manager to be working one project manager every single day but here for this particular date no this 30th january you are seeing so for this 30th january one project manager will be here one project manager will be here so there will be two project managers so the cost will get doubled so this is not the ideal way to assign the resource. So that is why the common resources have to be assigned in the summary task only. So we will assign one more resource, which is your construction manager. So both the resources have been assigned to our uh, IT building construction project. Okay. Now moving on to site clearance. So for site clearance, we have so many resources like project manager and construction manager has have already been assigned. Now we have two missions. You see. Two masons are there and one engineer even is there. No equipment and material is there. So we will assign two masons. 
So uh, one method is by choosing through this drop down option of resource name. Another option is how can we uh, go for another way? You can just open this detailed view. Okay. So predecessor and successor is visible to you. But if you right click here, you choose resources and predecessors, then from here also you can add your resources. So for site clearance, two messons have to be added. So we will go to Mason and we will click on OK. OK, but you see only one Mason has got added. Units means one Mason. 100% means one Mason. We want two Masons, so we will increase it to 200% and we will click on OK. OK, now you see since this is a fixed duration kind of activity, the duration has not changed. You have doubled the units. Work has also doubled, but the duration has not changed. So two Masons will be working for two days continuously. Each day is your 10 hours. So suppose if one lesson is there, then 20 hours will be there. But two lessons are there. That means 40 hours of the work will, there, will be there. So duration is still the same. We also want to add engineer one here. So we can simply choose engineer one and we can click on OK. No equipment resources there. No, nothing is there. But if you remember, then we created some cost resources also. We'll just go to the resource sheet. We created some cost kind of resources, which is your traveling, insurance, BG and clearance. So I just showed you for the demonstration purpose. But here also, let us just add this clearance resource to our site clearance activity. OK, I'll open the detailed view and I'll go to site clearance and I'll just add this particular resource as clearance. And I'll click on OK. See for clearance, since it is a cost resource, no units are there, no work is there. You just need to add the cost here. How can you add the cost? You can simply go to this cost option and you can add your cost associated with this clearance. Suppose the clearance costs you 10,000 rupees. You can add 10,000 rupees here and you can click on OK. So this 10,000 gets reflected here. If you will add the column of cost in this particular table, you will see this 10,000 rupees there also. OK, this you will see in some other video cost. We will study in some other video. So right now we'll go back to resources and predecessors. OK, now moving on to excavation activity. So for excavation, there are uh, what, there is one mason only so we will add one mason see it is now simple everywhere you have to do the same thing main thing is clear to you that fixed duration should be there and units and work how they are changing okay and uh, engineer one is there so we'll click on okay apart from that one equipment resource of excavator is also there so we will choose excavator here where is the excavator? Here is the excavator. So we'll click on OK. Since excavator is also work kind of resource, so units will be there and respective work will be there. You see one excavator is there and six days, 10 hours every day, 60 hours of the work will be there. Similar for Mason, similar for engineer. Now moving on to foundation. So for foundation, what is there? Uh, two Masons are there. Then one helper is there. And then your one engineer is there even engineer one and then your PCC is there. Now comes the material resource. So this will be interesting to see. We will add PCC. If we click on OK, no, it will take the minimum bare unit, bare minimum unit. So Mason, it is two. I think, yes, it is two for foundation. So we will make it to 200%. Helper is one. Engineer is only one PCC. Now you have to change the quantity yourself only. OK. Right now, one cubic meter has been assigned. Let us make it to 100 cubic meter and let us click on OK. So you can choose the units for your materials yourself. Whatever you want every day, like every day 100 cubic meter will be used. Fair enough. OK, now the, when you will see the cost, no, then this 100 cubic meter of the cost will get reflected there. Now moving on to column casting. So for column casting, two Masons, one helper. So this is your Mason. Then one helper is there. Mason helper E1, E2, E3 and concrete pump. E1 is there. Then your E2 is there. We just click on OK because we want this to slide up. Then your E3 is there. And uh, then your concrete pump is there and RCC is there. Okay, concrete pump and your reinforcements, reinforced cement concrete, RCC. Where is RCC? Here is RCC. Okay, we'll click on OK. But Masons are two in number, I think. So we will make it to 200%. Rest, everything is one, I feel. Yes. And RCC has to be increased. Let us say it is 200. And we will click on 
okay fine fair enough now moving on to next activity which is nothing but your uh, i think slab and beam of roof so for slab and beam of roof two mason one helper again uh, we will click on mason then we will click on helper and uh, then we'll go for e1 e2 concrete pump engineer 1 engineer 2 your concrete pump then your rebar and aluminum from work this is your rebar and here comes your aluminum from work and we click on okay uh, we'll see how many masons are there two masons are there we'll increase the units to 200 percent we'll click on okay then rest everything is same and you can make it like let us say 50 metric ton and let us say 100 square meter okay and then we can click on okay so this is how you can assign the resources but there is one more method to assign the resource instead of going to details so we'll go for earth filling and flooring so in the resource uh, tab if you see this assign resources option is there then from here you can add your resource see there is an option of assign here so for uh, earth filling and flooring what all resources are there two helpers are there so we'll just go to the helper so this helper is there and units we can increase to 200 percent and we can assign this helper so this helper has been assigned here you can simply see the cost also how this cost is calculated based on the per hour and number of days this cost has been calculated this we will see in some other video apart from that your engineer one is there and dumper is there so this uh, dumper is there we'll assign and your engineer one is also there we'll assign this and then apart from that your flooring is also there there is flooring here is our flooring so we will assign this you see you can change the units from here let us say we will keep 100 square meter and we'll hit enter okay so everything you can change the cost will automatically get reflected here but i told you that we'll see this in some other video okay so this is how you can do this but in this particular window you can also filter by your resources suppose you want only limited number of resources to be displayed here right now all the resources were displayed but you want some filter like you want only let us say Mm, work resources or you only want the material resources to be displayed or you want only cost resources to be displayed let us say material resources so now you can see then aluminum firm work brick work electrical conducting paint only materials are visible apart from the assigned resources only materials are visible similarly if you want to only see the let us say work resources then now only work resources are visible block work mason carpenter and so on you can also choose some more filters and you can create your own filter also based on your requirements okay so this is how this is some another method through which you can assign your resources so i hope this method is also clear to you all in the similar way for the rest of the task you can assign the balanced resources to all the activities so this is the process we understood three methods of assigning the resources one is through this assign resources of resource tab another is through this detailed method and the another one is through this resource name column in the main window okay i hope this concept is clear to you and you can see the gantt chart is also formatted once you assign the resources the resources name and everything is also visible here you can just change the settings of the gantt chart uh, there is some method i'll just show you through right click and all you can just change the method uh gantt chart format there is one gantt chart format here you can do the formatting of the gantt chart from here but we will understand this in some another video so right now that's it for this particular video thank you everyone goodbye